What's up, everybody? Today I have a um, question for you all that I need some personal feedback on. So I have um, several businesses that I have. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have a 10-year-old, a 17-year-old, and a 24-year-old. And so now that school is about to be out, my 17 year old, he stayed home today because it's his birthday. And I wasn't aware that my daughter was coming over this morning. So she came, I have not seen her since Mother's Day. So in between all of that this morning um, and Spy being choppy and indecisive, I, um, I opted and walked away from my computer. But when I came back to my computer, I saw after the consolidation, the breakout. So I want your feedback on how do you handle being a um, day trader, being a mom, a dad, being a having a full time job. Like I know a lot of people have full time jobs, but they're still able to kind of manage and focus on trading. So I would love to hear some comments and feedback, some strategies that you all use to say, hey, no matter what happens today, I'm not moving from my desk. I need to sit here and see if there is a potential trade. So this is what I missed today. So I watched all of this this morning and it was just trading in a range. And you know, sometimes after so long, it's only so long that you want to see it because you know you have a to-do list or you know you have other businesses and, I, and things that you need to do. So during all this consolidation that I sat through, when I came back, I missed the contracts um, for the 420 call that I saw, because this morning I was watching the volume on the contracts and I saw over 10,000 volume going into calls versus the put. So I automatically knew the calls were going to be in play, just not knowing how long it was gonna take for the volatility to calm down and the stock to actually start to trend. So, in this case, if I had sat here and waited patiently and um, not even just drawing, like just making sure I know what support is, but even if I had just drawn my uh, fibs, I'm not sure how you draw your fibs, but this is what I do. Sometimes I'll do starting from pre-market or since they have the same uh, highs right here, I can start right here and then go to the morning's low. So if I had just sat here and drew my fibs this morning without the indicators and watched my MACD, maybe I would have been a little more patient. So sometimes trading without indicators may be the best indicator. So that's what I want to talk about today indicators versus no indicators so here in this case even if i had used no indicators and knowing where support was and watching my macd and the volume and being patient and having time without having the interruptions i would have um entered the play that i saw and then i've spoken to with my um, mentees about the 420 call they were 16 cents. They ran to a dollar and 14 cents. And so the strategy that we're using, we're investing 160 to $200 into one trade. So that's 10 to 11 contracts. So today it would have been, if we got in at 16 cents and got out at 114, that would have been $98 per contract. And I guess that's what about a, what $980 a day. Um, eleven hundred dollars a day. Whenever we got out, if we got out at one dollar, because some, you know, sometimes we're going to see our profit and go ahead and start to scale out. So depending on when we scaled out, 
and how many contracts we bought, whether it was 10 or 11, we would have had a thousand to a eleven hundred dollar day. So also, um, I speak a lot on the rectangle pattern. So even if you don't use indicators and you just use volume and the MACD, if you just use a rectangle strategy, just drawing the box around your consolidation area and waiting for the breakout. And even if I don't draw it way up there, because most of the resistance was here, it hit this level more times than any. And I'm on the five minute chart. I like the three minute chart. However, from, from today, I feel that the three minute chart gives me boredom. <laughs> so you're sitting here through all of this and you, I'm just, I just got bored today. And so when my daughter came in, it was an easy distraction for me to get away from the boredom and get to, I guess something more fulfilling or something more exciting. So I think what I'm going to do going forth, is just do the five minute chart to cut down the noise and cut down the boredom and help to increase my patience. So the rectangle pattern is one pattern that I use. I am not a guru. I do not know all the patterns. I know the um, double top, triple top, head and shoulders, the basic ones. However, this is my favorite. I have the most success with this pattern. So if I had to just use my pattern that I like this morning with the five minute chart and the MACD, I may have been a little more patient. So remind you that we're getting up in the morning, what, six o'clock my time, Central Standard Time. We're getting up at least an hour and a half before market opens. So we're already sitting an hour and a half then when market opens, we're sitting an hour and a half. So my dilemma is how do we have more patience to get paid in this market, in this business? Because it's a business. We're clocking in, but at the same time, with impatience, we can clock out at any time. However, we're not getting paid what we are worth. We're not getting paid what we are capable of getting paid. We're not getting the wealth that's due to us. So in this video, I just want you to know that we can simplify the strategy, increase our time frame, look for one pattern with the MACD to enter into a trade. Even without using the field. But with using the field, it gives us an eyeball to know where the stock is. Because even with it doing this, I know it's at support and they are buying up. Every time price hits here, they're buying. Orders are getting filled. I know this and I think most of us know that. Anytime we're in a consolidation period, the smart money is buying. All of these are buy orders. And so once price was able to get above the 382 level, price was able to finally get here and hold. When it got up here, it was rejected. And also, if you notice on the MACD, it's still red at this point. And then this here is a little green. You want to look for the big green areas and the big volume areas. And the breakout of the rectangle and the holding. So the safest entry here would have been here. Once price broken above the 382 and was able to hold above the um, 618. So I hope this video kind of shows you how impatience you can miss money, how having patience can help you get a cheaper contract, how using one pattern with no indicators, maybe just the MACD, can also um, help you with your entry, your perfect entry, actually, because once this crossed and we got more green, more volume, you were safe to enter. 
So I hope this helps you because it's going to help me <laughs> just um, weigh my options. Um, if I'm going to do this full time, maybe I need to cut my other businesses down to other days of the week. Maybe I need to only be um, trading on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays full time versus every day and making sure that I'm focused totally on nothing but trading Monday, Wednesday and Friday from open until close whether there may be an opportunity or not. At least I can say I was there waiting for the opportunity and it did not come versus me not waiting and the opportunity came and I missed it. So I hope this helps. I hope this adds value. I hope this simplifies somebody's trading dilemmas that they're having. And I also hope that you give me feedback on what you do to help you um, stay focused and tune out the noise, whether it's kids, whether it's other businesses, whether it's your job and stay in tune with your chart and nothing else. It's eight o'clock. I have to go. It's my wine time. Have a good night and let's have a great lot of Friday tomorrow. Bye.